Hello everyone. The topic we cover today is admission and discharge of a mentally ill patient or admission and discharge of a psychiatric client we can say. So in India for the admission and discharge for the psychiatric client, so we follow the Indian Mental Health Act of 1987. That means Indian Mental Health Act, it is established or it is launched in the year of 1987 and in the year of 1993, Government of India made compulsorily that uh, all the states of India and the union territories, we have to follow the Indian Mental Health Act compulsorily. And the chapter 4 and chapter 5, it explains regarding the admission and discharge of a psychiatric patient into a psychiatric hospital or psychiatric homes. So now we'll see what is the admission procedure and what is the discharge procedure of a psychiatric patient. So the chapter 4 of Indian Mental Health Act describes regarding the admission procedure. So we'll see what are the different types of admission. The first one, it is the voluntary admission, then admission under special circumstances, then it comes the reception order, then admission after judicial inquisition, then admission of a mentally ill prisoner. So these are the different types of admission and the discharge that is based on that means how the patient is admitted to the psychiatric hospital based on that the discharge will be produced. So now first we'll see regarding the admission, various admission procedure. Come to the first one, the voluntary admission. So in the voluntary admission, so all the admission procedure which explains in the chapter 4 of Indian Mental Health Act, come to the first one, uh, voluntarily admission. So in the voluntarily admission, any person, okay, any person who is a major, okay, if he is feeling that I am mentally ill, or the person consider himself that I am mentally ill, so he can uh, approach to a psychiatric hospital or he can approach to the medical officer or medical officer in charge of the psychiatric hospital and he can request that I am mentally, I am having some problem, so he can request to the medical officer. So after receiving the request from the person, the medical officer or the medical officer in charge can go for uh, inquiry or he can examine the person and it should be within 24 hours and he will examine and if he is satisfying, okay, he is satisfying that the person needs psychiatric treatment, then the person will be detained or admitted in the hospital. In case of a minor, minor means less than uh, 16 years of age we consider here, if the person is the minor, the guardian or the parents can approach to the medical officer and the same procedure will be following. Come to the second one, admission under special circumstances. The first one we have seen the person himself approaching. So come to the second one, if the person is not ready or not willing to go for treatment. In that case, behalf of the patient, the relatives or the friends can approach to the medical officer. They can request the medical officer for the protection of a uh, patient or the client. Then the medical officer, after receiving the request, the medical officer will examine the patient and there should be a support of two medical certificates uh, from this uh, recognized psychiatric psychiatrist. Then they will uh, admit the patient into the hospital, psychiatric hospital. Come to the next one, it is the reception order. So the reception order, the reception order, it is mainly given, the reception order uh, will be given by the magistrate, okay, the magistrate, only the magistrate is having the power to give a reception order. In the reception order, again, there are two criteria. One is reception order on petition and the next one, reception order on production, producing before the magistrate. So first we'll see the reception order on petition. Suppose the patient is uh, admitted in the hospital and he required the treatment more than 60 days. Then the medical officer, he can give an application to the magistrate in the local jurisdiction limit or his limit, like a district hospital or the local uh, uh, court, he can, the magistrate, in front of the magistrate, he can produce an application with the support of the medical certificate that the patient needs more than 60 days of treatment. So in that case, uh, the magistrate, uh, he will examine the patient or he will uh, verify the documents and he will give an order that the person need a treatment more than two months or more than 60 days. So that is the reception order on petition. Then reception order on producing before magistrate. That means if the patient is a wandering patient or the pa uh, patient is uh, 
dangerous to the dangerous to himself or to the society that case every in charge of the every in charge office of that particular police station he is authorized to take the patient into custody for the protection of the patient but there is a condition within 24 hours the person has to be produced in front of the magistrate and the magistrate will give an order the patient need the treatment and uh, he will be sent to the psychiatric hospital or he will be detained in the psychiatric hospital that is the reception order on production before magistrate next type of admission it is the uh, judicial inquiry or admission after inquisition that means if any court hold the inquisition that means the psychiatric patient the patient is mentally ill and he is having so much property in that case the person will be sent to the psychiatric hospital for the treatment but his property who will take care of his property the court will appoint a manager or any of the relatives will be appointed as a guardian uh, regarding his properties and the person will be sent to the psychiatric hospital so that is the admission through judicial inquisition and the next one admission of a mentally ill prisoner that means the person is a, a did, person did a crime and he uh, become a psychiatric patient also so in that case if it is a mentally ill prisoner so he will be detained or sent to a psychiatric hospital for treatment that is based on the law or legally the person will be detained in the hospital so these are the different types of admission so come to the chapter 5 that is the discharge of a psychiatric patient so again based on the admission the first one the voluntarily admission so in case of voluntary admission the patient will be discharged uh, for a voluntary basis how it will be the patient feels that now i am okay my problem has been reduced then the person can uh, give a request to the medical officer the medical officer will be examine and satisfy then uh, the medical officer will give a order for the discharge then if it is under special circumstances the relative can approach or they can uh, request to the medical officer that the person should be discharged in that case again the medical officer with the help of board of visitors or supporting uh, psychiatrist they will be uh, decide the person should be discharged and if it is through reception order uh, if it is through police means that particular authority will be informed because the patient has to be taken care by his family members so uh, if it if the patient uh, admitted through police officer or through police then uh, the concerned authority will be informed so they will ensure that means the family members will be taking care of the uh, patient so that ensure that assurance assurance should be there then if it is through a uh, magistrate then the medical officer reception order through uh, application in that case uh, the medical officer will be giving uh, that particular request or application uh, to the uh, district magistrate or the magistrate and the magistrate is satisfying after examination he will be discharging the patient and in case of a uh, uh, mentally ill prisoner so after treatment after treatment or every six month the uh, medical officer has to inform to the concerned authority or after treatment uh, if the person stands for the trial then he will again send back to the jail and the particular procedure will be con uh, continuing then there is another concept called leave of absence the leave of absence which is given only for a voluntary patient or it is not except the mentally ill patient so here uh, if the relatives are assuring that we will take care of the patient so in such cases th there will be leave there will be a, a, like a vacation will be allowed for a 60 days of maximum of 60 days period but there uh, that uh, family members to family members has to give a bone that will take care of the patient and uh, no harm will be uh, produced to the patient in with that assurance the patient will be sent to the uh, home for a maximum of 60 days period so this is the various admission and discharge procedure of mentally ill patient that is following in india as per the indian mental health act of 1987 okay that's uh, that's all for today's class uh, this is vishan uh, signing off uh, till we meet in the next class thank you